today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lanyard. So here's one that I have already made, if you can see it. So this part goes around your neck and then this hangs down to attach to something. So I'll be showing you how to make this. You need just a big pile of bands like that, whatever colors you want. You also will need whatever you want to attach it to, your loom, and your hook. So the first thing you gotta do, you gotta pull up the middle row as possible. Pull up the middle row and turn it so that it's facing the opposite direction, okay? From the other two. So see how these are going, the arrows are pointing that way, and this one's going down, and that one's going up. Okay, so now you take your color, take two at a time, and just basically you're going to be doing this all the way up. So whatever colors you want, all the way to the top. So this does take some time, but it's really, really simple. You can attach it to anything that has a loop like keys or anything. I like to use them for room keys for a summer camp that I go to. That's two pinks, not yellow and a pink. So I don't know the exact band count at this moment, but just you need two big piles or one big pile if you want to do it in one color. So now that you've reached the top, then you can go over, flip your loom, and go back up to the top. So if I go too fast, you can always pause the video. And if you think that you understand how to do this, then you can skip ahead some. You're basically going to be filling up this whole loom twice, then attaching the two ends of that thing together and adding two rows more. So it's really, really simple. Just take some time. And then at the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to attach it to something too. You do not need a C-clip for this. So now you're going to go over. You can flip it again and go up that one. This is definitely a beginner's project. It just practices on chains and looming straight up. So, if you're just starting Rainbow Loom, this is a very good project. And then, if you're a bit more advanced in Rainbow Loom, you can do dragons. Now, let me explain. Courtney Nicole on YouTube makes Rainbow Loom dragons. They are not very big. They're big for Rainbow Loom, but they're probably about like that size. So you can make those. So now you're going to take two bands. This is all two bands, the whole thing. And wrap it around three times around that. Now you're just going to start looming. You're going to loom all the way to the top. So if you're a bit more advanced, you can make Courtney Nicole's dragons. They are really awesome. I have a about 60 of them, which is a lot, I know, but she makes how to train your dragon dragons, like Toothless, Stormfly, those dragons. She also does Wings of Fire dragons. She has Smog from The Hobbit. Uh, she even has two dragons from the Skylanders. So once you've reached the top, you're going to loom over like that to the side. Then you can flip your loom and go back up to the top. So she does dragons from all sorts of different things. 
it does take some time, lots of bands, but it's really cool when you're done. She has babies, which are smaller, so they're a bit easier to make. So if you're a bit more advanced, want to try something new, you can do that. So once you've reached the top, you're going to loom over to the side again and loom straight up. So, this is really, really basic. I mean, you only have to know one skill for this. Just looming up. Or if you like looming down, you can do that. And you can make these in any color that you want. You don't have to do pink and yellow told you that at the start of the video. So now that you've loomed all the way to the top, you should have the whole thing loomed. Should look like that, teardrops up and down. And you're gonna stick your hook in these bands. You do not need a C-clip. And you pull up. You completely pull it off the loom. Okay. Oh, come on, I didn't loom that one. That's fine. If you didn't loom any, you just snap them, pull them out. Hopefully nobody will notice. So there is a uh, part of it. You could say this is this is a bit over a third of it. So now we're going to do that again. Yay! This will be so much fun. So just do the same thing, exactly the same thing, except for at the end, instead of doing a capping band, you'll be attaching this. So just looming, so just placing straight up, then down. And make sure that the arrows are pointing away on whichever one you're placing them on, otherwise it will not loom right. So another thing, another person you could do, could watch if you want to do bracelets, is Tutorials by A. She does lots of different uh, bracelets, she does charms, I like most of her bracelets, and she does talk for a while at the beginning, but they're really easy to follow tutorials, and she does skip through some parts. So you have to pay attention on how to do it, but she's a really good person to watch if you want to just do bracelets, not anything super fancy. So now I'm going down this one. I like placing it that way. Don't know why. You don't have to make this as big as I am making it. You could just do like a smaller, like stop here and then loom that up. It will make it much smaller if you're making this for a younger person. So you could also make this part shorter down here if you want. You can use these for lots of different things. I actually made a much smaller one for my camera. Now the problem with doing this for a camera is it stretches. And if you have a really heavy camera, it'll stretch way down. So you need to make it a lot smaller than how I am making it in this video. So make both parts shorter. Then you can attach it to that. Don't can't think of anything else that you could use this for right now. I'm sure there's many, many uses. 
you could use this for an ID if you want. Attach it to the end. Whatever you want to use a lanyard for. It does not have the little clip at the end. You could attach one if you want, I think. So, now that I've ringed all the way down to the end, you're going to take this, make sure you're through the loops and not between them, and put it on, just like that. Now you're just going to loom all the way to the top. All the way to the top, then down the next row, and down the next row too. So looming is just a lot of fun. There is really no faster way to do this. You just have to do the looming. You can do this on a hook if you want. I'm not going to show you how to do that right now. If you pref if you don't have a loom or don't like doing it on a loom, probably should have said things like this beforehand. Do that a lot. This is just a lot of looming, unfortunately. Bands will go all the way on. It's not just okay. So rent once you've reached the end, you can just pull this off again. most of the way through. So now you can go through three loops of the capping band. Take two more bands. You're just going to pull that on. Come on. There. Do not lose your loops in there. Okay. So there we have that. Now just wait that there. And now you're only going to go up two rows. You're going to go up this one, down this one, and then you're going to attach it there. And that's all. We're not going to be doing a whole one again. That'll make it way too long. So we get to place more bands and loops some more. This is going to be awesome. So I know that this is a lot of placing and looming, so feel free to skip this if you're tired of watching me do this and want to go do something else while you place and loom bands. seem like you'd need to have a super long video for this, but 
is easy. It's super easy, but super time consuming. Okay, so now once you've reached the end, take this, you attach it there, and then you get to loom it up again, and then you're done. Get to tie it off and attach it to whatever you want to attach it to. Whether it's keys or card, I'm going to loom that. nearly there. Alrighty, so now that I've loomed all of that up, take two more and we're just going to tie this off, get two strong bands. Actually, you can just use one if you want. So go through here and take that, pull it through, and tie it off. So now you can pull this off once again. So there you have your lanyard. It's very long. So now I'll show you how to attach it to something. So here I have just a regular bracelet. This is actually my Kaylee bracelet that I came up with. I have a video of that. So you're going to go through like that and then go through this band. Go through there, pull the whole thing through until you get down to the end where it's tied on itself, and voila, you have it attached. So then you can put it on. So it has to be going through a loop, or you have to tie it real tight so that it stays on. So that's how you make a lanyard. I hope yours turned out really great and I will see you in another video. Bye!